Day two of the 2015 CIS East-West week is in the books, and it was a long one. It was a two-a-day, the first of the week. There will be another tomorrow with a walkthrough also happening, and it was also the first time that both teams got to do crossover against each other. Team East and Team West coming together in pass skeleton and inside run, as well as one-on-ones for both sides. It was an entertaining day. There was a lot of action, and both coaches say the plan is coming along quite well as they head into Saturday. You know, everybody's looking pretty good out here. Everybody's coming to work uh, with a purpose in mind, and that's Saturday coming with a performance for a bit of a showcase, right? Every player here wants to showcase what they have and what their skill sets are for the CFL scouts, and I think all of them have done a pretty good job. Um, can't complain with my quarterbacks, that's for sure. They're definitely putting in the work um, outside of, uh, of the field, in the classroom. We're having our meetings, and uh, they're doing a good job. I think a lot of these guys are used to it. I know the guys in the West, we just came off our spring camps and our, and our organized practices, so we were kind of in the two-a-day mode. Uh, I know the Calgary guys, they just had a scrimmage prior to coming out here, so I think they were used to the tempo on the long day anyway. So, you know, the heat's a little bit different. We've had a little cooler out West, so I'm trying to keep them hydrated and everything, and, and I think they're doing a pretty good job. As we get closer to game day on Saturday, the focus is beginning to shift away from intense practices and towards having all the athletes ready to show their best on the field for the CFL scouts. We definitely have had a high tempo and with the weather out here they're definitely feeling it, especially with the receiver groups, D-line groups who are a little thin. Um, so we are kind of peaking. Uh, we had a good competition session with the West group today um, and that looked really good. Uh, tomorrow we'll probably, we still have two practices, uh, but that second practice will probably be a bit more of a walk through, which will be good and get those specials uh, squared away. That's exactly right. So so sort of this morning we kind of almost headed into that mode a little bit, especially with our running back group. We only have the three backs. So we kind of started rest them a little bit knowing with the crossover practice this afternoon versus Team East that the tempo would be amped up quite a bit so we wanted to keep everybody kind of healthy and then again tonight and tomorrow it's going to be you know dial it back a little bit get off our feet get some rest get ready for the game. I know Coach Orzetti wanted you guys to meet at 11 p.m. tonight <laughs> you know <laughs> it's typical, it's after, typical <laughs> special teams guy there's no boundaries uh, but but I, I, I just so you know Beloved head coach, Peter. <laughs> it's going to be a great game on Saturday. Kickoff is at 2 p.m. and you can get down to Percival Molson Stadium right here in Montreal to watch the game live, where you can follow along on Twitter. All sorts of different ways we're putting out there for you to be able to watch and enjoy the game. Look forward to everyone staying involved with CIS on Twitter this week. And we will talk to you tomorrow. For the CIS, I'm Marshall Ferguson.